the ICC cannot subject Americans to arrest, prosecution, and jail. The U.S. is not a party to the Rome Statute that created the ICC. And even if a prosecution were to proceed, it would make a mockery of due process. There's no requirement for unanimity for a conviction. The prosecution can rely on hearsay to obtain a conviction. There's no real guarantee of a speedy trial. And instead of facing a jury of one's peers, it's a panel of judges who aren't subject to any American accountability. The Trump administration is taking the following actions. First, we're authorizing the imposition of economic sanctions against ICC officials directly engaged in ICC efforts to investigate U.S. personnel or allied personnel against that allied state's consent and against others who materially support such officials' activities. Designations will be made on a case-by-case -case basis against specific individuals or entities. And second, the United States is expanding visa restrictions for officials directly engaged in those same investigations. We're extending and expanding these restrictions to include their family members. It gives us no joy to punish them, but we cannot allow ICC officials and their families to come to the United States to shop and travel and otherwise enjoy American freedoms as these same officials seek to prosecute the defender of those very freedoms. Rest assured that the men and women of the United States Armed Forces will never appear before the ICC, and nor will they ever be subjected to the judgments of unaccountable international bodies. In short, I'd like to thank the President for sending a clear message to the international community that we will always protect Americans no matter where they serve from harassment, abuse, and overreach by organizations outside of our own justice system. The United States, as has been mentioned, has never consented to ICC jurisdiction. Worse yet, we are concerned that foreign powers, like Russia, are also manipulating the ICC in pursuit of their own agenda. The measures announced today are an important first step in holding the ICC accountable for exceeding its mandate and violating the sovereignty of the United States.